Welcome back to our special interview with uh, the PSG chief of HP Canada, uh, Leyland Brown. Leyland, thanks a lot for uh, coming back again. Um, so you traveled almost the entire country uh, this year meeting with uh, channel partners. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the channel partners told me they, they wanted a, an, uh, an HP that was all intact. Yes. How did you go about uh, calming their fears, getting rid of all that distraction that happened uh, uh, at HP uh, this year? And uh, you know, just basically uh, keeping the, uh, the the pedal to the metal and uh, driving some great results. So I think you're referring like a lot to the 818 drama because that's yeah. what we call it 818 oh, inside really? of HP. Yes, okay. we do. Uh, you know, the the big piece, and I used it with uh, the technique or the technique or the mechanism is mm -hmm. was really around like focus on what we can control. And that's what I talk to partners, mm -hmm. is focus on what we can control and that's making a difference with our customers. Our, our customers still use PCs, they still need to, you know, they still need to refresh. Mm -hmm. So let's focus on that. And as soon as the announcement hit, then you know, number one and number two was, you know, how can we make sure our channel mm -hmm. partners continue to be profitable with HP, in fact, more profitable mm -hmm. with HP than with anyone else. Mm -hmm. And that was, and how do we make sure that HP stays on shelf in retail? Like that was number one and number two right out there, right out of the gate after the uh, August 18th announcement, and it was key. Now there are two significant trends that you had to deal with uh, mm -hmm. this year. First was uh, bring your own uh, device mm. to work, and the other one was the so-called death of the PC. Uh, what are your thoughts on those trends, and how did it impact HP? So I have a lot of conversations around bring your own device, mm -hmm. because people say, oh, bring your own device, HP's commercial business is gonna go away. And mm -hmm. I say, no, 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 no. I figure maybe 30, 20 to 30 percent mm -hmm. of organizations mm -hmm. will adopt bring your own device. Mm -hmm. But there's still, I think what's going to happen in 2012 is going to be more clarity around what does bring your own device mean? Mm -hmm. What are the implications and how do you address things like security, mm -hmm. compliance, uh, licensing, backup, mm -hmm. uh, like all of those things, that's what people have to get a handle on yet mm -hmm. because it's not as easy as saying I'm going to give you a thousand dollars, go buy a PC. Right. How do you make sure that person's operational and productive mm -hmm. the whole time? And I think what's going to happen in 2012 is that organizations are going to be closer to figuring out, mm -hmm. you know, what needs to be in place to be able to deliver that to our employees. But not all employees want to have their own PC. Mm -hmm. Quite frankly, some of them say, I'm okay with you giving my PC to work yeah. and that I'm going to work with. So that's the piece, like, I, you know, guys, like, you know, a $1,000 PC, $1,000 stipend, likely will be taxed, you know, like we'll probably, we'll probably get a T4 for that. Is yeah. everybody going to want that on their T4? Like there's, there's implications, there's all different things that need to be considered with bring your own device. But it absolutely will happen. Okay. Because people, like I'm not arguing that the trend's going to happen, it will happen. Mm -hmm. And the fact that we've got a strong presence in retail mm -hmm. is going to help HP win, you know, with this trend versus our competitors. So that would be how I'd address the bring your own device question. Okay, death of the PC. Death of the PC. So I think I talked about it uh, a little while ago, yeah. is that the PC is here to stay. Right. The PC, what form the PC will be in? Will it be in a tablet? Will it be in an ultra right. portable? Will it be a workhorse? Mm -hmm. You know, will it be, you know, a netbook? Will it be an all-in-one? What Will it be the form it will be? Mm -hmm. That is going to evolve as the product set evolves. But I, I think the PC is here to stay because people still need to be able to access the internet. They still need to be able to, mm -hmm. to do work. They still need to be able to do spreadsheets. They still need to be able to create content. And they need a PC to be able to do that. The question is, you know, where's the, you know, where's the server? Mm -hmm. Where's that other infrastructure piece going to be? Is that going to be in business? Is it going to be in the cloud? That's the question. But people still need to access all that information. So I'm, I think the PC is here to stay. Okay. Um, now, one of the criticisms HP and other PC vendors get is that one on design, that they're not mm. Apple in terms of the cool factor. Uh, how do you, you're going to address that in uh, 2012? You know what? That is a fair comment, mm -hmm. and let's address it head on. You know what? We have been we haven't led the market. Mm -hmm. Quite frankly, our competitor has led the market when it comes to design. Mm -hmm. But what you're going to see in January and February is a launch of our Folio, which is our ultra portable. It's a sweet product. Mm -hmm. Nine hours of battery life. It's it's thin. It's it's going to really capture that segment of the market that wants a device that's more than a tablet. Uh, we're also going to be, there's also a lot more focus on innovation mm -hmm. and from Meg Whitman on down is that we need to lead the market. Right. We can't be following all the time. Mm -hmm. We need to lead. And I think the changes that Meg are making inside of HP worldwide will help to drive that so that our customers will see HP PSG, the personal systems group, mm -hmm. as an innovator. 
Well, if you can do nine hours of battery life, I think that would be leading the market for sure, because that's almost unheard of. Uh, finally, Leyland, uh, the HP store, you have one in mm -hmm. uh, Vancouver. Any plans to expand that in uh, 2012? At this point, no. Mm -hmm. um, the HP store in Vancouver is a is the only sort of HP store brand we have. What you're going to see is more HP store and stores. Okay. Um, similar to what we've got with, uh, we've got one in Winnipeg, so we've got a store and store inside of, um, with the Manitoba Tel, mm -hmm. um, that we did in conjunction with one of our partners, Powerland. Mm -hmm. And you'll see more store and store type activity, because we just, that is just a model that uh, appears to be working very, very well in Europe, very, very well in parts of Latin America. And so we're saying, well, maybe we'll let's play around with that model a bit more. Okay, well, thank you very much, uh, Leyland, and all the best to you in uh, 2012. That's it for me. I'm Paul Donibletto, a special interviewer, a CDN Newsmaker of the Year, Leland Brown of HP Canada. Uh, please uh, stay tuned for more videos from CDN.com. Thank you for watching.